what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? New Birth Missionary Baptist Church and its pastor, the Reverend Jamal Bryant, has come under some strong scrutiny for charging $125 a pop to its members for COVID-19 testing. How did they not think they were gonna have issues with that? The way it goes, they were charging $25 for screening and $125 for testing. The pastor broke it down and said that the church itself is not charging. This is a lab charging this money. And the members can get their money back if they file a claim with their insurance company. So he said, check with your insurance company first to make sure you can be reimbursed. Why would they put themselves in that situation? Knowing that they were going to have some bad press. They just had some bad press a few months ago when they had, I believe, a guest speaker. Yeah, they had a guest speaker who was trying to shake down T.I. and 2 Chains and some other people, some other celebrities. I think Killer Mike was there. They was trying to shake him down for some bread, just, you know, and that went viral. The pastor and T.I. patched it up. But they've also had a lot of controversy at that church with their former pastor, the Bishop Eddie Long, or as I call him, Eddie Long Stroke. Why do people go to this church? This church seems to experience more than its share of controversy. I get it, I get it, I get it. The bigger you are, the more people are going to come for you. But this church is just always involved in controversy. And the members just keep a flocking. It doesn't matter what the controversy is. The members just continue to flock to the church, no matter what. The church disseminated a flyer stating that they would be screening and testing Saturday and Sunday, April 4th through 5th. But that's not going to happen because the governor has issued a stay at home for the entire state of Georgia. It starts on Friday and it goes through April 13th. So good luck with that. The church said that, well, not the church, but the pastor said that they were trying to screen 1,000 people at 125 a pop. Well, really 150 a pop because you, you know you want to get screened first, but you get tested and ooh, that's $125,000. If everybody that got screened were tested, that's 150, $150,000. Now, you know the church got that kind of money in the bank already. Why couldn't the church just front the money if it's going to cost that kind of money? And I also heard that there are other churches around the country who are doing this for free. The pastor said that he couldn't go anywhere and get tested for free. He said everybody was charging. Not true. And also I heard that the governor, well, not the governor, but the government was supposed to make it so that all testing were free. People could go anywhere and get tested for free, which is only right. Oh man, these churches, man. You gotta be careful, man. So many wolves in sheep clothing. So many false prophets. Let us pray. No more talk. What the talking about?